from Iran. The Supreme Court, our Supreme Court, has ruled that victims of Iran-sponsored terror could get up to $2 billion worth of compensation out of Iranian freezed assets in America. We're just going to take it off them. Come on in, Lieutenant Colonel Alan West. Tehran now calls that theft. I'm sure you don't agree with that. No, and it's good to be with you, Stuart, and uh, happy birthday to the Queen. Uh, it is not theft. Uh, what, ha what did happen in 1983 was murder. It was a terrorist attack. Uh, Hezbollah, who was responsible for the Beirut barracks bombing, the suicide bombing that killed 234 Marines, sailors, and some soldiers, is directly a military wing, a, a proxy army of Iran. As a matter of fact, today, the Iranian defense minister participated as uh, part of the planning and execution of that 1983 attack. So here we do have a state sponsor of terrorism that committed an attack, and we have every right to be able to take away those funds. But even more so, let's go to the recent conflagration in Iraq where the explosive force penetrators that uh, were responsible for about 20 percent of the casualties, death and wounding of our uh, servicemen and women in Iraq came from Iran. So we even have something today that Iran has been doing against our men and women. So mm -hmm. this is not theft. This is a proper thing that we should be doing, and we should not have been releasing billions of dollars to them as part of this quote-unquote agreement. All right, Alan, I've got another one for you. Russia ignoring President Obama's call for ceasefire in Syria. They've moved heavy artillery. They're going to try to take or retake the town of Aleppo. They've also been uh, very uh, caustic about the uh, buzzing incidents of uh, ships in the Baltic. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this? It looks to me like escalation from the Russian point of view, the Russian side of these things, escalation in the increasingly military dispute with America. Well, Vladimir Putin is continuing to be the, the bully. Uh, he's continued to be the tough guy, and until he sees any type of pushback, as long as he sees the reticence from the Obama administration, he's going to continue on. Remember, it was about a month ago, everyone was cheering about uh, Russia was going to pull out its forces. We did not know how many forces. Russia still maintains a credible military presence to support Bashar al-Assad and make sure that he is propped up and he stays in control and stays in power. Along with that, you have the Iranian Quds Force, which is there, and they're a designated terrorist organization from the State Department. And the head of the Quds Force, General Qasim Soleimani, violated UN uh, sanctions and also resolutions, and he was just recently in Russia talking about the acquisition of new tanks, new fighter aircraft, and uh, the S-300 surface-to-air missile system. All of this, once again, is against this quote-unquote agreement that we're supposed to have. And Russia will continue to do what they did in international waters in the Baltic Sea with our destroyer, which truly was an act of war to fly within 30 feet because they're not seeing any response from the Obama administration. I've got 20 seconds left. Alan, are you for Donald Trump? Yeah. I'm for whoever the GOP nominee is. I will not support, and I don't see how someone like Hillary Clinton, who abandoned Americans to die in Benghazi and then lied about it, can even think about being commander-in-chief. Alan West, you did it in 15 seconds. <laughs> That's good. Thanks very much, Alan. We will see you again real soon. Thank you, Thank you sir. Pleasure uh, to more liberal.